Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my channel. I would love to share an experience with you today. On the 8th of July 2023, I was invited by Garden City Radio to speak on the topic a JKB Jam Resort. And we know that this matter, this issue was something that you know brought a lot of arguments, even some persons were sentimental about it. And indeed I just find the, I just found it as a privilege to you know speak on such a platform that day the first thing was listening to me anyways but just stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the video in the city of Harcourt, it rains almost every day this is because we are in the raining season anyways i started my journey to the place because the show was to start from 7 15 a.m as you can see it's still early in the morning and end by 8 45 a.m that same morning anyways i just arrived and here are some clips for you my name is zeno Figo, a 300 level law student from university university and i'm here i come with you Good morning, the good people of Portugal. I am the one for Israel Academy from University of from Abia State University from the Department of Linguistics and Communication Studies. Can't wait me too. It's the morning so you I'm an international relations student and I'm an international student at school in the Republic and I'm doing international relations and diplomacy. Jam between hands. Uh, let me come to your uh, barrister in equity. Yes. Well, from your experience, it's, it could have happened to anybody. Uh, if you have to give a word uh, to what would you advise? Is it to jump or to yell or should that punitive measure of three years be sustained to, uh, in such a way that to mitigate such occurrence or such deceit tendencies or? Was she? Do you think that she came out clean? Uh, let's let's sufficiently uh, go go a little uh, deep on this. You have the podium now. Okay. Thank you very much for that question. Like I, I would state that this matter should be looked onto in the sense that we should investigate properly. And uh, as I've already stated before, you can't accuse someone of doing crime. As long as it's not backed up by a guilty mind, she's innocent until proven otherwise. Aside that, the ban of three years, until it should not even take effect until the investigation is over. Then if indeed she doctored the result, then I would advise that yes, she should be punished for it so that it would deter other persons because the issue of examination of practice and all that despite the law on examination of practice is not even deterring people from you know engaging in this um falsification of result and the rest of it is even increasing as the year goes by so this matter will provide a precedent for subsequent issues that will arise so i advise that this matter should be looked up to investigated and whatever the outcome should be then jam should take appropriate measures appropriate measures you you mentioned appropriate measures and i'm wondering what the measure now, a sanction should be you know they say that um, for law the command theory will say that uh, law should be backed up by sanction mm. because indeed when it's backed up by, by sanction that's when people would be deterred from committing such offenses mm. so if indeed because as long as i'm concerned in the eyes of the law she's innocent until proven guilty so if at the end of the day the outcome is that yes she doctored this result there was a guilty mind attached to this action we have to see i would say that the sanction should be placed and because it will subsequently you know detail other students who have the intention or have already started you know nurturing, nurturing the intention or acting mm. on it already mm. so stop Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do well to click on the subscribe button. I would love to see your comments, like this video, share it with your friends, and turn on your notification button so that whenever I get to post any video, you would be notified.
notified and you have to watch thank you so much don't forget to subscribe bye